Hello everyone, welcome back. It's been a long time since I posted a tip. I've been working with uh, Toon Boom Advanced for quite some time now to help some friends learn how to use it in their production pipeline. So this tip is for all users who are working with Toon Boom Harmony Essentials and Toon Boom Harmony Advanced. And the question is, how do you extend the software to get expressions or any other script that you might want to try that you see on the internet? Well, it's usually when you get Harmony Essentials and Harmony Advanced, it doesn't come with any custom scripts. It comes with its basic scripts that are not originally placed in the script folder in user preferences. So as you can see, I started Harmony in its basic form. So there's not much customization that you see right now. Later, I'm going to extend it by adding custom scripts that I've collected over the years and use them in my projects. One of the biggest things I like to use in Toon Boom Harmony is expressions. And expressions come in Harmony Premium, but it allows you to have programmed animation, which then opens up a lot of possibilities for machinery, props, or even IK rigs character rigs and more so with expressions and with Python then it really opens up the software for uh, customization while Harmony Advanced does come with its pre-stock scripts it may be a little bit hard for new users to learn how to program your own scripts or customize the software so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to download and install a useful script that opens up the expressions this method is very good for new users who want to learn more about programming for Harmony but have no experience, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. When you first install the software, it will not install with a script folder. So the first thing that you need to do is to put in a script folder and you have to go with your current version. If I'm using Harmony 22, then it will be 2200 scripts and I'm going to demonstrate that right now. The first thing you want to do is go to your Windows System User Preferences. That's usually under your name and then you go to Roaming and you look for something called Toon Boom Animation and inside that folder that is where I'm going to add a new folder called Scripts and this has to match the version software that you're using. I'm using Harmony Advanced 22 so I need to make a new folder in my Harmony Advanced and the new folder is called 2200 or 2200 and dash scripts. And this will open up the ability for you to plug and play any scripts that you find on the internet and add them to your software. Now I'm going to go to a website called Raindrop Movement and I will just download a few scripts from here to see if they work. The most important script that I think you should try is the quick expression script. That one seems to be working very well for me and I've been using it to add quick expressions to my pegs. I think there are some other scripts that I want to try out later um, depending on my time but most importantly if you download these scripts you can add them into your script folder and test them out yourself and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Once I downloaded the script, then it's pretty easy. I just copy and paste the script contents into my 2200 scripts folder, and then I'm able to load up Toon Boom Harmony Advanced, and then go to my scripts toolbar, and then load up the actual script. You'll see it pop up in a different uh, surname, and that way it allows me to see that this is the new script that I added. Moving it over using the using the right arrow key in the scripts customization. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a good test by adding a script expression to my peg and having it move based on the current time. That's a very simple test. 
to see that it works. If it works, that means I can go ahead and add even more functions and features to different parts of my pegs to do um, computer-aided animation, which is really cool. So if you cannot find your script, then you just have to go ahead and right click and customize your menu tab. You can also go ahead and right click in the X sheet to add the script uh, quick expression to it. That will help out. What I'll do is quickly add quick expressions and add a number to see if I can get a result. If I can't find the expression in my X sheet, that means I need to move it from 3D path to separate path. So that way I have X, Y, and Z. And once I go ahead and switch it from 3D path to separate path, then you'll notice that an expression column that will show up and give me a number, which will be four. So the last test that I'll do just to show you that expressions do work in Harmony Advanced is I'm going to have an expression on my Y axis on my peg and I'm going to give it an expression called current frame which means that any frame number that pops up will give it a Y value and as time goes on then the box will move to the Y axis in a positive manner which is very cool if you can do this then you're on your way to learning expressions inside Harmony Advanced. So there you have it that's how you extend uh, Harmony Advanced and Harmony Essentials if you have it on your computer and as you can see I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste all my scripts that I've collected over the years into my Harmony Advanced and I'm going to just play with them to see what works and see what doesn't work. The most important one, of course, I believe is extending it with uh, expressions. Because with expressions, then you can put together some rigging that you couldn't have done before uh, without it. So that's pretty cool. I will go ahead and share more tips when they come along. And if you like what you see, just subscribe to my channel. Usually not many people do tips and tricks with Harmony Advanced and Harmony Essentials, but I do use them in production. They do help get a lot of stuff done for a cheaper price. They're actually moderately priced underneath premium. I like Harmony Advanced because it does have the pencil tools with textures and has the brush tool with textures and you can really create and design your characters before you take them to Harmony Premium you can kind of prepare a lot of characters for a moderate price so that's what we're talking about with my uh, friends and what to purchase at their studio so just keep that in mind that Harmony Advanced is useful so just keep that in mind when you're looking at the software packages and don't be afraid to send me a message through YouTube or my Facebook to talk about Harmony Essentials, Harmony Advanced, and Harmony Premium. I use them all in commercial and TV production. So there you have it. Thank you for listening and I'll see many of my friends online around the net. I'll catch you at the next uh, ATE or hopefully at Annecy if I can make it. So yes, happy animating everyone.